start particulate pollutants. Particulate pollutants are the minute solid particles or liquid droplets in air. These are present in vehicular emission, smoke particles from fire. Particulate may be viable or non-viable. Let us start viable particulate. Viable particulate, example bacteria, fungi, molds, etc. are minute living organisms that are living in the atmosphere. Human beings are allergic to some of the fungi found in air. They also cause plant diseases. Now we see non-viable particulates. They are categorized as solid particulates, dust, mist and fumes. The effect of particulate pollutants are largely dependent on particle size. Airborne particles such as dust, dust fumes, mist, etc. are dangerous to human health. Particulate pollutants bigger than 5 microns are likely to lodge in the nasal passage whereas particles of about 1 micron enter into lungs easily. Lead used in petrol was a major pollutant. It was overcome by using unleaded petrol. Lead interferes with the development of red blood cells. Let us study about smog. The word smog is derived from the words smoke and fog. This is the most common cause of pollution. Smog is classified as classical smog and photochemical smog. We now study about formation of photochemical smog. When fossil fuel are burned, pollutants are emitted into troposphere. Two of the pollutants are hydrocarbons and nitric oxides, NO. When these pollutants build up to sufficiently high level, a chain of reaction occurs with help of sunlight in which NO is converted to nitrogen dioxide. NO2 takes energy from sunlight and breaks into nitric oxide. The reaction is shown as NO2 gas giving 
NO gas plus O gas. O atoms are very reactive and combine with O2 in air to produce ozone. The reaction is as shown O gas plus O2 gas in equilibrium with O3 gas. NO and O produced in the above two reaction react to form brown colored NO2 which at sufficiently high levels contribute to haze. The equation is NO gas plus O3 gas giving NO2 gas plus O2 gas. Ozone is a toxic gas and both ozone and NO2 are strong oxidizing agents and can react with unburned hydrocarbons in the polluted air to produce chemicals such as formaldehyde, acrolein and peroxyacetyl nitrate PAN. The reaction taking place is 3CH4 plus 2O3 giving 3CH2 double bond O plus 3H2O. The structures of acrolein and PAN are as shown. Components of photochemical smog are ozone, nitric oxide, acrolein, formaldehyde and peroxyacetyl nitrate. Effect of photochemical smog are described Photochemical smog causes serious health problems. Both ozone and pan act as powerful irritant. Ozone and nitric oxide irritate nose and throat and their high concentration causes headache, chest pain, dryness of the throat, cough and difficulty in breathing. Photochemical smog leads to cracking of rubber and extensive damage to plant life. It causes corrosion of metals, stones, building materials. Let us try to understand how to control photochemical smog. Many techniques are used to control or reduce the formation of photochemical smog. If we control the primary precursors of photochemical smog such as hydrocarbons and NO2 and secondary precursors such as ozone and PAN, photochemical smog will be reduced. Catalytic converters are used in the automobiles which prevent the release nitrogen oxide and hydrocarbons to the atmosphere. Certain plants such as Pinus, Juniperus, Quercus, Pyrus and Vitis can metabolize nitrogen oxide, hence can be used to reduce nitrogen dioxide.